Money is your god. Get back to work. I am your host, the working class guru, here to help the working class people to actualize themselves, to create their own traditions, and extricate themselves from the ideals which are essentially placed on them by the upper echelons. And today I want to talk about the modern aristocracy and how the modern aristocratic powers are uh, leading to this dissatisfaction in capitalism. People are being being able to wake up. Working class people are starting to say, "Hey, this thing isn't uh, this. The way that this thing is work it, working isn't really geared towards people who want to pull themselves up, quote unquote, by their bootstraps and get to work and make a make a steady buck." Instead, it's geared towards these aristocratic ties. For example, look at. I mean, just look at the general population of, of wealthy people. They've had they've had a lot of help. Trump himself had had like a million dollar grant from his dad. He had, the guy Dan Bilzerian was the he's a trust fund baby. You know, Dan Bilzerian, the the quote unquote Instagram playboy. He's got all these chicks around him. He goes on Instagram and he's riding on motorcycles, shooting guns, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He says he made all that money from from poker, but hey, you know what? I, there's there's a lot of conflicting evidence, and people are saying I you know I don't know what the guy said. I don't know. I just know that he was a trust fund baby, and his dad was a multi multi millionaire. Like he had hundreds of million dollars. There's Miley Cyrus was from a uh, paternal her her she's bas- it's basically nobility the t- noble ties of nobility handing down their power and status to the subsequent generations with my Billy Ray Cyrus and then you have Miley Cyrus and then oh, oh god you have Will Smith is handing down the reins to his kids but I just don't know what the talent is that his kids really have you have the Jenners all the Jenners they are they're a dynasty and the Kardashians are a dynasty and etc cetera, etc cetera. because of this it's leading to as Thomas Piketty, one of the quintessential writers and economists of our age, talked about the given income inequality and how it's detracting from the working class's people, the working class people's is share of the lines of uh, the share of national income, national income GDP, it all it it's the the net worth of the entirety of the the nation, okay, and who's getting it? There's a, it's increasingly going the lion's share, the grossest profit of all of it is going to a small, a tiny, insignificant little percentage of the population, where multi billionaires are created, hundreds of billionaires, hundreds of, and this is, and there, what do they do if? This is their, what do they do? They they endow their families with it. They hand it off to their families where you get the Rothschilds and you get the Ro- the Rockefellers. I mean, if it goes against, once again, this is so, the system is so flawed. The system is so cognitively dissonant. We have to hold these two different pervading beliefs in, in one. That one, that you can be a self-made man. He's a self-made man. And he, got, he pulled himself up by his bootstraps. And then where you can... Where you can just inherit all the all this money and live opulent lifestyles. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Wouldn't wouldn't we create a sort of zero inheritance where you cannot inherit? If we wanted to create a system, a, a tabula rasa, where where a man's ability was the was determined by how he fought in the market, how he was able to pull himself up by his bootstraps and fight his way up to the top rankings of the corporate ladder. Wouldn't wouldn't everything just be where you cannot inherit? Sorry, you're not allowed to inherit something. I, I don't know. It's a crazy idea that is that is actually communist, by the way. It's one of the tenets of the Communist Manifesto. There's like ten the Ten Commandments of Communism, and one of them is that you cannot inherit property. The government gets all the property, but what if what if there is a way that we could create a I don't know a, a a trust fund for the working class or we can how do we the problem is that how are we gonna I don't think that we can okay I don't think that we straight up can 
the word the reason we have an aristocratic dynasty class of capitalists multimillionaires and billionaires and why the divide between the rich and poor the working class hard working people by the way and the uh, capitalist bourgeoisie class is inherently due mainly because of oh shoot where was I going with this I completely lost my train of thought there the re the reason why we have this is not only because of inheritance, but also because I just don't, I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it. I gotta go back. It's hard to to hold all this together. Hold it, hold it together, man. Hold yourself together. Uh, it's because aristocracy is is a normal part. Aristocracy simply means to be ruled by the abled, and but I don't think having money is inherently uh, something that enable that gives you power over no another person it gives and give doesn't give you the power of knowledge it doesn't endow you with the ability to rule other people it simply means that you're richer than somebody else it just means that you have more money if, if you get it from your dad or your mom or you're inherited it it doesn't give you it doesn't make you better maybe I'm a technocrat in that sense maybe I want to see a world where the people who are the best are at the top, and there are there are menial figments of society where the technocrats rule. But anyway, yeah, aristocracy is not going anywhere. It's a it's a in component of I think human nature itself. We see it across all cultures. There's and this idea of communism. I'm you know, I'm pro working class. I'm pro proletariat. But uh, this idea that communism is some, somehow going to bring around this equity. Everybody gets the same thing. You're all going to get the same. The same uh, ham sandwiches. Everybody eats ham sandwiches on Wednesdays. What? What? The, the, who works like this? Nothing works like this. You got to get in touch with nature. We have to align ourselves with the natural world in order to, uh, you know, get things to work. All right, I am your host, the Working Class Guru. And uh, if you like this, subscribe uh, to my just basic meanderings and and ramblings. Ram. He rambles. This guy. He rambles. Uh, go to workingclassguru.com and uh, subscribe. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.